What's up, everyone? Today we're making Yin Yang Chao Fan Yin Yang Fried Rice, a classic Cantonese restaurant dish also known as Lover's Fried Rice. While this visually striking dish may seem complicated, if you follow my dad's instructions closely, it's actually very doable in your home kitchen. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video, and to start off, let's learn my dad's techniques to prepare the base of this dish, the rice. Hello, my name is Dr. Hoa. 我哋今日咧就用兩杯個米嚟做炒飯嚟嘅，一杯係六個安子咁上下啦。我哋再兩杯米，嗯，我哋洗啲米先啦。We're gonna wash the rice three times, making sure to pour out the starchy water and using fresh water each time. Michael from Patreon asks, "What's the best choice of rice, or is any rice okay?" 食開咩米咪俾咩米炒咯。所以我哋平時都係用泰國米嚟煮飯嘅，咁用泰國米炒咯。呢個唔緊要喎。炒飯咧就應該擺少啲水，因為飯硬啲嘅時候炒咧就靚啲啲飯啦。We'll add 13 ounces of water to the two cups of washed rice in the rice cooker pot. 應該就差唔多啦。For those of you unfamiliar with it, Yin Yang Fried Rice is a classic Cantonese dish created in Hong Kong. The English name Yin Yang refers to the beautiful presentation of the red and white sauces of the dish, creating the Tai Chi symbol, representing the duality of Yin and Yang, which are Mandarin words. The Cantonese name of this dish is Yin Yang Chao Fan, and while the words sound similar to Yin Yang, they are actually completely different words that refer to Mandarin ducks. In Chinese culture, Mandarin ducks are believed to mate for life and therefore represent marital bliss and fidelity. One translation is lovers fried rice. You can use for anything in Pai for love. This is good for Valentine's Day. Is that why you wore red? Yeah. <laughs> and Daddy wore white. Oh my God. <laughs> lovers. Lover. Yeah. And you wore red. And you wore white. That's you guys are lovers. <laughs> That's why we wore black. <laughs> This romantic symbolism is why this dish is often served at Cantonese wedding banquets. But no matter the occasion, anyone who tries this perfect marriage of two delicious sauces over fried rice is in for an absolute treat. Now, when you eat the rice, you can start preparing all the ingredients: rice, three cups, rice mash, and rice mash. We will carefully separate the yolks and the whites by pouring the yolk from one half of the shell to the other, letting the whites fall into a bowl before pouring our yolks into a separate bowl. So the rice mash and rice mash are all separated. First, we'll cut the tomato into fourths and trim off the hard parts of the core. Then we'll carefully cut out the meat of the tomato. No need to be too precise in this step, as long as you get most of it separated. We'll then roughly dice up the tomato insides, making sure to keep all the juicy bits. For the outside parts, we'll cut them in two different ways to give some variety in the texture of the dish. For the first two parts, we'll cut into short strips. For the other two, we'll first cut them into strips lengthwise, then rotate 90 degrees to dice. Some cheese, some cheese, right? Two onions don't need to be cut up too much. With the onion, we'll dice a small part of it. Then we'll cut some into bigger slices. As we start preparing our shrimp, since this dish is also called lovers' fried rice, I thought it'd be fitting to talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp, and how much therapy has helped my marriage with Cat. But first, we'll cut the shrimp in half by turning our knife horizontally. Before Kat and I got married, we found a therapist in San Francisco to help us navigate some big issues. It definitely was not easy, but our relationship really transformed through the process. This is why I'm a huge proponent of therapy and why I think BetterHelp is amazing. It's an online service that assesses your needs and matches you with your own licensed professional therapist that you can start talking to within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional therapy that's done securely online. Now we'll move on to the chicken. We'll also turn our knife horizontally to slice our pieces in half. Then we'll slice the pieces into short strips. Finding the right therapist is a lot like dating, and it's easy to switch therapists if you don't like your first match, since they have over 20,000 therapists in their network. It's especially great if you don't live in a big city, as BetterHelp offers service worldwide and removes the friction of traveling and waiting in a therapist's office. Just log in, send a message to your therapist at any time, and expect timely, thoughtful responses or schedule weekly video or phone sessions. Now with our chicken cut, we'll add a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of water to marinate it. 
BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline therapy, and they offer financial aid as well. If you're interested, you can visit betterhelp.com slash madewithlao. That's better H-E-L-P and use the code madewithlao to get 10% off your first month. With the ingredients prepped, let's see how my dad creates the iconic red sauce, which covers half of this dish. We'll first add three tablespoons of ketchup. We'll follow that with two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of vinegar, and one teaspoon of salt. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step by step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. We'll taste test our sauce and adjust here if needed. With our sauce done, we'll need a piece of aluminum foil. We'll fold it in half lengthwise, then bend it into an S shape that will fit your serving plate. We'll use this later to create the iconic yin yang symbol with our sauces, so set it aside for now. Next up is my dad's special approach to making fried rice. We'll heat the wok on high for about a minute before adding our oil. Then we'll add the rice. After about three minutes of frying the rice on high, we'll add our salt. After 30 to 40 seconds of cooking, we'll plate the rice. With our rice done, we're ready to move on to stir frying. My dad will walk you through how to put the red side together first, so pay close attention to each step and which ingredients are used. Now we'll reheat the wok for another 30 seconds before adding our oil. After cooking the chicken for 30 to 40 seconds, we'll add our bigger pieces of onion. Then we'll follow with all of our tomato. Notice how my dad squeezes the juice out of some of the smaller pieces. After another 40 to 50 seconds of stir frying, we'll add the red sauce we created earlier. Once the red sauce boils, or about 20 seconds, we'll lower the heat. To thicken our sauce, we'll create a slurry with one tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. We'll pre-mix the slurry in a bowl first, then pour it into our sauce while stirring constantly to prevent clumping. Somebody asked to, is there a starch substitute? So if you don't use cornstarch, is there another way to thicken it? Water chestnut powder. I think the best is the water chestnut powder. You can see very shiny, yeah. see-through. Yeah, I'm eating that. 
My dad turns the heat back up to high for about 10 to 15 seconds, so the sauce can boil off a bit more water to achieve the thick consistency that he wants. How do you get the right sauce consistency? Sometimes my thickened sauces go runny after I put them on the plate. The fire, man. The fire bean. Pass to me, sir. Oh, compress it. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it's too loose, then maybe it just sleeps through. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know this? Go here, make it. No. Make it. This one will chop. Just like that. Okay. No. This one is not good yet. Nah. Okay. 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 I did it, it'd be soaked. Yeah. <laughs> what if I'm so good, yeah? Now that we're done with the red side, let's see how my dad tackles the white side of this dish. But first, I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. So now let's get started with the white side. My dad is saving time just by using a new walk-in spatula here, but you can also wash and dry your walk-in spatula so that it's clean for this step. <laughs> Like before, we'll heat the wok on high for about one minute, then add two tablespoons of oil. After cooking the shrimp for about 20 seconds, we'll add our minced onion. After another 20 seconds, we'll add the rest of the can of chicken broth, or about 8 ounces. Okay. We'll also make the same slurry again with one tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. We'll mix that together like earlier. We'll pour in the slurry while stirring, just like before. Since the sauce has a bit more broth, my dad adds a bit more slurry, mixing one tablespoon of cornstarch with one tablespoon of water. Once the egg whites have cooked for 20 to 30 seconds, we'll add a teaspoon of oil to add some shine and some peas for color. So is it usually an egg side and a tomato side? Or what are the different combinations? You do whatever you want this five. Just make the dish two different colors. Oh, I see. But as people sometimes use beef or sometimes oh. use pork. Someone else asked, I've seen most recipes not use soy sauce or any other kind of seasoning other than salt. Is that true? Some color. Yeah. It makes sense because it wants it to be bright. You probably don't want to use beef because it make it darker, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, chef. You're so smart. Be careful to not get any sauce on the wrong side of the plate because the presentation of this dish is so important. Sure. Wow. Now let's hear more from my mom about the popularity of this dish. People right now kind of forget about this dish. I can't count how many audience on the comment yeah. mentioned about this dish. Interesting. They want to make this dish. I will talk to daddy, daddy say, okay, let's do it. Probably because it's getting forgotten about. But in the restaurant, the menu still have this mm. dish. You have to make this dish. This dish is very traditional. It's a Chinese dish. Many friends have asked me to make this dish. I'm now making this dish. Many friends have asked me to make this dish. I hope you like it. Cheers! Cheers. 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 YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. 